When the caravan is sitting at home, you actually have to recharge your batteries. So the big question is how often do you need to uh, turn your power on to actually recharge your battery? This is our charger, and what we found is that two weeks is a good distance between chargings when the caravan sits at home. And there's our charger again once the power has been turned on. And you notice the absorption lights on, the orange one. Had we been really low, the bulk one would have come on first. And had we been not low, and we had a, a really good charge in the batteries, the float would have come on. So what will happen is that absorption one will stay on for a little bit. It will then overnight. And there it is on float now. So therefore that's reached its optimum. Um, we can either leave it on and it will just continue its mold charging or we can actually now turn the power off. Just be careful when you're going in and out from underneath that you don't swing on these, like hang onto the pipes or hang onto the cables. Uh, might give yourself a bit of a shock. These are hot water here mainly, and these are drains. Often we'll run our fridge when we're at home because uh, it needs to run at various times, particularly the night or two before we leave. So to do that we actually have to have our caravan on a level. And because our driveway drops away, we lower the front to almost on ground level. Now if you've done like I have and I forgot to actually close the windows, check now. This is a critical moment. Oh, look at that, it was under. And you may notice down here are some boards. Just to expose the boards, you notice here in the tie well, that's our western sun. We just put these boards across the tyres because the amount of sun coming, reflecting off the concrete, or direct sun in the afternoon, anything from one o'clock on, but they've protected those tyres unbelievably. How do you get in if you need to? Three zips. One, two, three. Now other doors positioned here. So if we undo this zip, undo that zip, then we'll be able to get into the door here. But if your door's here or there, the zips are constructed to suit any sort of caravan. Unzip it. There. There. And what we do there is we kind of push the fabric on top, open the door and kind of feed the fabric over so you're not actually pushing this pointy bit into it and tearing it or forcing it and not opening it. As always, just put the catch on and it's there. <laughs> You'll probably notice also a couple of slight protrusions there on this end. They're actually windows which are open and we leave the windows open and our four seasons, plus one of the vents on the, on the roof for ventilation of the caravan while the cover is on. You don't want to leave everything closed up, it just uh, suffocates the van inside. And it, it obviously needs air to stay fresh. Once the cover is on, we have noticed that if there's any storms or rain, very little actually gets through. The cover seems to block most of it. So yes, of course, of course take precautions and during storms close your windows and um, four seasons and vents.